We've come a long way to finally be getting accurate portrayals of these characters. Daredevil Season 2, starring Charlie Cox, Deborah Ann Wall, Eldon Henson, John Bernthal, Elodie Young, Stephen Ryder and Rosario Dawson. So Daredevil Season 2 picks up more or less after the events of Season 1. Hell's Kitchen seems pretty much as cleaned up as it can be, although there are still some small pockets of crime that still linger in the city. And Nelson and Murdoch seem to be an established law firm now with some pretty good clientele coming through the door. And Matt, Foggy and Karen definitely celebrate that at the beginning of the season. But when Frank Castle, aka the Punisher, appears, it's very clear he's not your regular vigilante. And with this Punisher's portrayal, they managed to give us which what Hollywood has not managed to give us in three movies. And that is a Punisher that is completely lifted straight from the comics and put onto the small screen. Even though after about the fifth episode he does take a bit of a back seat to come back with a bang later on in the season. As for the guy's backstory, you really feel what he's been through. I'm hoping that this can carry on into a series of his own. As for the action sequences, they just blow you away as always, but there's one particular scene in episode 3 which manages to rival the big fight scene from the second episode of season 1, if not top it completely. And we also finally get Elektra done right since the huge misstep of Jennifer Garner in the 2003 movie. And we see she's hot deadly and has a reason for what she does and why she's battling with her love for Matt and the need to take care of the other matters at hand. Also there are many twists and turns that you don't see coming all the time and it improves what happened in season one and just takes the narrative so much further. The only two things I will say that bring this series down just a little is that the main villain of this season known as The Hand does feel a little tacked on to give Daredevil a villain to fight this year and what happens to Elektra in the last episode is probably going to seem very controversial to the diehard comic book fans. But did this taint my enjoyment of this series? Not at all. In fact, I'd say it's leaps and bounds better than season one. My final verdict is a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching this guys as always, feel free to comment below and tell me what your thoughts are on Daredevil Season 2 if you've seen it. And if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button, I do make new videos as often as I can. And stay tuned for tomorrow, which will be Thursday, as I will be posting a mystery Batman movie review which was animated, came out in cinemas, but no one seemed to actually saw because of how poor the marketing was at the time. So, as always guys, I shall see you all on the next one, and take care.